Hello fellow questers, uh, we're back at it again. I am Dallin. And I'm Cody. Right in the middle of October at this point, yep. um, we've got a few things left to do. Cody had an excellent idea. So the CDC came out recently with guidelines about Halloween. They said that they don't want kids going door to door. It's a, it could be a disaster as far as the coronavirus goes because you're literally making contact with dozens if not hundreds of people. Probably the worst holiday to enjoy. Um, the trick or treating, the get together. At least everyone would be wearing a mask. <laughs> My thought was, I think people are still gonna come around. So what I was wondering is, is there a way that we could make it so we could still give candy to trick-or-treaters and be safe at the same time? I'm sure that there's lots of people that are planning on doing it either way, but if you wanna be really safe, we're trying to think of some, some ways to do it. So let's, let's brainstorm. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah! You guys, when you initially thought about this, you had a few different ideas. Well, yeah, so one idea I had was like some kind of slide. I mean, if as you can see here, this is pretty slopey. Like it goes down a ways. Kids at the slide. bottom and you, you just slide yeah. it. You need something that's slippery enough for the One, it would have to have enough momentum yeah, going down. to go so, down. Yeah. What do you think? I think there's multiple things we could do. We could use a clothesline and we could like make it so that you can just- Oh, like a bucket? It's like a clip and they just pull the candy off Man, the Man, you'd be tired by the end of the night. You could do slingshot. A candy I was gonna shot? say, can you put can you put <laughs> look, candy in the look? We have the two bars. It would be so. Oh, funny. that would be nailing the kids from downtown. Now. Knock them out cold. Open the bag. I would say that we could do like a marshmallow gun, but that would take like our breath. Literally, the worst thing we could do. <laughs> can we borrow one of the you know the baseball guns? <laughs> you know what I was actually thinking? Oh, can, I actually, cannon. I literally looked into a t-shirt cannon. And they're really? like 300 bucks. Oh gosh. It's not worth Support it. Support us on Patreon so we can do it next year. <laughs> do you yeah. think money's made on trees on this channel? My go-to would be the slide. I think it'd be the easiest to build. Use, yeah, we could use cardboard. We could use cardboard. Yeah, we got a lot of cardboard baby, in the ground. So we have lots of diaper boxes. I think the slide, like I said, is the most logistically feasible. How are we supposed to know when kids come to the door? Because if they're standing at the sidewalk, how does that work exactly? So like a remote control uh, <gasps> doorbell or we something? Could, we could get a remote control cart and just drive it down the driveway. <laughs> what do you, that's true, we actually <laughs> could do that. We just designate a spot on the sidewalk that's like stand here for candy and then no one will And all we need here. is chalk for that one. I think that would work great. It's gotta be bright chalk or something so they can see when it gets darker. Okay. Here's a good reminder. Check out our spooky slash creepy playlist. We've got all the great ones from last year's October as well as some of our funny skits. Ghost hunting, Rananatica, and corn. Corn. <laughs> and corn. Holy heck. <laughs> and we've got Cody down the... Uh. You have a dangerous weapon there, Milo? Yes. <laughs> yeah. But let's like okay. lay it all out to see how much we have. All right, Jim, okay. let's go. Bye. Just come with me, come with me. I'll meet you in the front. Oh crap, the Wendy's kills. <laughs> hey, down pal, let's do this. Is that where you want the line? I think so, yeah, right? And this is 30 feet. That's 30? If we start it high enough, I think it could slide all the way down. Maybe. Okay. He's walked the same since high school. And this is 30 feet. Okay, so let's make it bigger. So I think we should try some more like a bee. So that the, there's no way the candy can fall out. Yep. Okay, so cut the, down the middle of all of this. We're gonna make a V shape to use the least amount of cardboard as possible. Hey Amanda, were you gonna get at arts and crafts? Yes. Hey! Hey, he's stealing! Oh, he's stealing! No, he's stealing! Oh. I'm stealing! <laughs> I'm stealing! Yeah, that's fine. No, I'm saying the fold has to be really close to even. Or who's right and who's wrong? Find out next time on Crab Shack. Weekdays till 8. Saturdays till 5. <laughs> Close Sunday. Why was that shame something? I don't know. I'm selling bike crack. I'm wearing the bike crack. There's do. one problem, which is I don't think the angle is going to be enough to make this work. So we had another idea. We were worried that it wouldn't quite slide, and so we thought we're going to see if we have a hamster ball. We think we do. That we can put candy in and roll it because that will easily roll. Now to find a way for them to get us the ball back. Yeah, we'll have to brainstorm that. If Jimmy Neutron, go through my ear. Think, think. <laughs> Brain blast.
we're gonna go buy a hamster ball so we can stick the candy inside and then roll it down and it won't have any problems rolling down. And we can wash the ball afterwards. Yeah, we can. So we got this hamster ball. It's made from mice. And you can just open that up. Are you up. a man or a mouse? You can just open that up and we'll put the candy in there and it will comfortably roll all candy the way down. Candy mountain? That doesn't need much of an incline. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. That's gonna work just nice, lad. Thanks, hamster ball. One thing that we were talking about, we're not sure of how to do, is how to get the ball back. You can get a fishing pole. You're a genius. No, I know what to do. Oh. What? Okay, do, 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 do. Cody, do you care to okay. explain to the viewers? No, I'm gonna work on 84 that. 84 viewers. <laughs> I'm gonna work on that. Dallin, you help Amanda with this, and I'll figure out a way to retrieve the ball, okay? Cool. Break. Two hours later. Cody, did you solve our problem? I believe I did. In fact, you were just in time to check it out, so. How convenient. Attach it to a drill with a pencil on the end. Wow. And let's see how this works. No one can say we're not creative. Yeah, boy! And worst case scenario, we can always just roll it in if the battery goes out or something yeah. like that. We're spooky neighbor. They, they go all out for Halloween. The whole neighborhood goes all out for Christmas, but they really go ham Cratch for it's Christmas. Well, so that's the, this is the end. Yeah. It'll come up here. We'll hang it right here, and then we can just put the thing down. And it'll come back up. Wait, what was that noise? <laughs> Perfect. Did you need me to do it again? Or? Sure, why not? <laughs> Careful at the end. Look at that. That's a big snake boy. We are now completing the final touches. The thing is, it doesn't have to look good. No, it doesn't. As long as point A of candy gets to point B, child with bag. You. Well, Merry Christmas! Okay, so this was a huge fail, but it was also a lot of fun. It failed because of the wind, but if there was no wind, this is successful. Yeah. Like, it worked. If there wasn't for the wind, you know, we wouldn't have had the issues that we did. You were able to retrieve drill, it, retrieve yeah. it back up, drill it back up without ever having to come back down here. And I think the one thing is like, oh, well, what about contact with the ball? That's the only thing. The risk with COVID is much more like face to face and not so much like thing to thing, although it is possible. It, the, the airborne stuff is what you really need to worry Blech. about. I'm glad we used the hamster ball because I'm now realizing that never would have yeah, worked. Yeah, the candy wouldn't have worked whatsoever. It literally <laughs> just gone. Being able to find fun and creative ways like this to be able to do trick or treating yeah. know, during this crazy Safely. year. This is this is kind of a fun little idea. I doubt many of you would go to these lengths, but hey, there, there are ways to be able to have trick or treaters come to your house. Yeah, wear a mask, be safe, and if you do decide to do Halloween stuff, think of something like this or better, you know, because this is. Or you literally just have a bowl that says take one. But hey, that's not as fun! Happy Halloween. Uh, blah. Happy Halloween. Pretty cool.